Hey guys and welcome to my 27-28 week pregnancy update. Um, welcome, I can't even talk. So I hope everyone's had a nice couple of weeks and sorry it's been so long, so much going on in, in my life at the moment. Clinton's just had minor surgery that I'm just looking after him and I've been anxious about the surgery so I just wanted to get him on track before I update it again. So I do apologise um, but it is great um, putting another video up, being in touch with you guys. Um, and, and enjoying this because I, I really do enjoy putting these videos up. So, getting straight in. I'm just going to go to my baby center app and it says your baby's starting to get more snug in your uterus. She weighs just over a kilo and about the same as a large eggplant. She measures, she measures around 38 centimeters from the top of her head to her heels. She's growing. My little girl is growing. Um, and I can feel her moving every day. She had scared me a few times where I've had to lie on my left hand side for a few hours and count the kicks because she has been quiet, um, but I think she just must be sleeping. So I have had a few scares and I'm assuming um, first new, new mums would have had the same kind of feeling or you get a bit anxious or nervous not knowing um, if she is okay or not, but then they reassure you and then go from there. So. Straight off the bat, my measurements, or not measurements, my weight at the moment, I'm 65 kilos. So I can't really remember what I was on my last update, but I don't think I've put on too much. If anything, I'm probably about the same. I'll have to go back and have a look. Um, but 65 kilos at the moment, started at 61. So still only put on a little bit, which I'm, I'm happy about. And they're saying it's not the size or how much you put on. As long as you're healthy, as long as the baby's got size, she's got a really strong heartbeat, which is great. That's, that's what we're looking for. Um, my symptoms at the moment, when I get my Braxton Hicks, which is quite common and regular these days, I get the ligament pain as well on the side. So it's like, not period pain, but it's like a type of pain on both sides that's just an uncomfortable feeling that go along with it. Um, and I explained it to my midwife, that's what she said it was, it's just my body, body adjusting to, um, to having a baby in there. Also insomnia, I can't sleep at the moment, it's struggling, can't get comfortable um, and I go to bed and try and doze off and I'm tossing and turning all night. I only stay on my left and right side but I'm finding myself on my back sometimes, waking up and going, oh my goodness, get off your back. So I have to make a conscious effort to then get off my back because I know it's not good but I don't mean to, it's just something where I guess my body feels comfortable at the moment but I know I can't stay there. I seem to be hungry every couple of hours, which is insane. I know this last trimester they've said you you eat another 2,000 kilojoules or something per day just to keep up with your baby's growth spurt. Um, it is good, it's bad, but every maybe two hours I'm looking for something to eat, and then after each meal I'm looking for that little bit of a little bit of a sweet thing. Um, so I've got my muesli bars in there. My favourite at the moment is the strawberry coated muesli bars that you get. Also, a big craving for pancakes. I've never liked pancakes. Um, never been a fan of them. And then recently, every night I'm asking Clinton, can he make me some pancakes? Well, at the moment, um, he's bedridden, recovering from his surgery, and won't be able to do that. So I'm going to have to do it on my own. Um, any good recipes, anyone, leave them down below. I'm not the pancake expert in our house. He is. But I guess I'm just going to have to get my own cravings. Um, sometimes I get on and off itchy belly. And I've been using the bio oil. And I'm not sure if that's leaving a rash on my stomach or not. So I'm on and off with that. But I just find it. So I don't know if anybody else has had like a just a little bit of a rash. I'm not sure if it's a rash or, or what. But I've got a doctor's appointment coming up. And I'll check with her and make sure that is all good. So I've got two months left of work now. I'm up to, what am I, seven and a, seven and a bit months. So two months left of work, I'm totally excited. Um, it is really difficult to go to work now. I work full time um, and just getting up early hours and then getting home late and having to do dinner and all the chores around the house, it, it is really difficult. And I was looking at working up two weeks before um, with doctor's approval that we, that we need. But I'm not sure if I can do that. I'm just totally exhausted and not getting any sleep at night and then having to go do a mentally draining job. It is tough, but that's life. You've got to do what you've got to do, don't you? So that's all right. 
I need some help with pelvic floor exercises. Anybody leave any comments below on what they've found helpful or what, like I just want to make sure I am, this might be TMI for some people, but I want to make sure I'm working the right muscles. Obviously I want to strengthen them pre and post baby to make sure that um, everything down there is looked after and is kept um, as tight as it can be to help with um, sneezing, going um, laughing and all that kind of stuff and I don't want to experience that and I haven't but I just want to make sure that um, I'm looking after that so anyone um, that's got any good pelvic floor exercise that you know that's what you're working let me know I have looked on YouTube excuse me she knows I have looked on YouTube and a few other sites but I, I don't know if I'm working the right muscle or not so help what else sorry pregnancy brain referring back to my sheet um, I had my gestational diabetes test probably a few weeks ago now I had to get up at 6.30 in the morning because my appointment was at 8 o'clock and you had to have breakfast um, what was it low, low sugar breakfast um, and then wait an hour after having your drink and then go straight in for your blood test after that so that's what I did what did I have for breakfast? I was going to have wheat bix with milk, but realised that it was like a lots of sugar in the milk, so I was like, no. So I think I just had scrambled eggs, no toast, no nothing, just scrambled eggs. Had my drink and then off we went to the hospital. And then um, that same day, they got back to me with my results. Everything was fine with gestational diabetes, don't have that. But they are concerned with my iron levels. They're still not where they need to be. I'm still taking my supplement day and night and it's still not enough. So I need to... um um put more iron in my meal so green leafy vegetables I've been trying I'm trying chia seeds at the moment because I heard they've like triple the iron that um, spinach has any recipe ideas or any ideas to help boost my iron let me know as well that would be great stretch marks I don't feel like I have any still I hope I don't know like if they are they're very faint because I can't notice them but I'm um, Hopefully they, they don't come or maybe they'll come a bit later. I finally, everyone knows if you've been following my vlogs, I've been trying to get maternity work pants for such a long time. And every time I went into all the different stores, they were never available in my size, always sold out. So I thought if I go online and they can um, send them from their warehouse out to me, then I don't need to worry because obviously they're selling out quite quickly because they are popular. So that's what I've done and they should arrive in the next couple of days. And then I won't be freezing ankles because at the moment I've got those three quarter capris that I've been wearing. But it's coming into winter here now. It's getting a bit chilly and I want to make sure that I'm covered um, and in suitable clothing. So that is good. I am going to do a nursery tour. So if everyone wants to see that, do a, a, a thumbs up on this video and I'll get that done as well. We haven't completed her room yet. There's a few things that we want to do um, that are left. But um, if you want to see that video, give me a thumbs up. What else do we need? Belly button in or out. You'll see, for, I'm not sure if you'll see or not, but um, my belly button balls on my bar have fallen off. So I've just got the, the plastic thing that's going all the way through now. And I think at the bottom, it's holding in, and like it's half in, half out. So I'm not sure by the time um, she comes that it'll be fully out or not, but that's life. What do you do? My rings are still on. Still got them on, have no issues with that, no swelling or anything, which is great. Um, as I said, I've got a few doctor's appointments coming up every two weeks now um, that I follow up and check in with them. I've completed my birth plan. Um, I just thought that was a really weird question that they ask you. You've never had kids before and they want you to complete a birth plan. Obviously, people know straight up what they want to do. Um, but I said to them, I've never experienced this before. I've never, I'm never going to go through this type of pain potentially, so I'm not sure what I want. So I pretty much, pretty much ticked everything, all the boxes, because I don't know what I'm going to need, but I'm, I'm not shy. If I need, if I need help, I'm going to ask for help. Showers, baths, balls, whatever, or actually, um, getting proper pain medication. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not fussed about getting that either. I just, I don't know what I'm going to need, um, and and go from there. Oh, I should show you some books that I'm reading at the moment. It is a Juju Sudan labor, labor book and I've just found it so interesting just ways of helping you go through. I'm also reading what to expect when you're expecting um, which I don't know it's good monthly checkup like my baby center app it keeps you updated on on where your baby's doing and how you should be feeling through those months so 
found those books really helpful as well. I've got a few baby showers coming up. Um, I'm going to Sydney, as I said in a previous vlog, and then I'm having one in Brisbane here with my friends and family here. So that's very exciting. I'm getting to the, the nitty gritty end of things. She should be here shortly. Hopefully not too early. We don't want her now, obviously. Um, even though we both are very excited to meet her when she does come. So I think that's pretty much it. Sorry if I rambled a bit or spoke too fast. I just um, was really excited to see you guys again and, and give you an update of how I was doing. And I hope um, all of you mums and mums-to-be are doing well also. So I hope everyone's had a good couple of weeks. Please like if you want to see a nursery tour. And I'll do that. Um, and I'll just show you my bump now. So this is my bump for 28 weeks. And I'll just lift it up for you. So from the side, from the front, as you can see that belly bar ring's fallen off and I'm not sure if you can see the half in half outy. And from the other side. Well, it's great catching up with everybody and I'll see you in the next couple of weeks. Bye guys!